guys, it's Megan, and today I'm coming at you with a life update instead of like a traditional vlog that I post on Saturdays, because I pretty much took like the past, like ever since Christmas, off from vlogging, and that was really, really refreshing to me. I love vlogging, and I vlogged a lot more than normal in December, which I am really glad that I did because I got to document a lot more of what I did throughout the past month, but it is like a commitment and I wanted to take a little bit of time off and I had time off of my like normal job as well so I really oh my gosh I feel like I did the most like during this winter break or this like short feels like it was like one day long but I had two weeks off which was phenomenal. I got to see so many of my friends, which was so awesome. I visited my college roommate, Chloe, um, for her 30th birthday, and she's gonna kill me for saying that, but um, that was really, really awesome and special to hang out with her and her fiance at their house and their puppy, Milo. It's just like crazy that I've known like pretty much all my friends that are like my closest friends. I've known them like for at least a decade if not more and I just love them so much and so it was really really fun to see her like right after her birthday and um, just like have that quality time with her. A big piece of news that I have just been like it's been in the works for a while and um like things are really like starting to move quickly um which i'm very very excited about me and one of my best friends Alyssa, are moving in together and um oh, i'm like so excited because if you watch me for a long time you know I've lived with my parents since graduating from college and that has been really great um, and for a very long time I was like why would I ever move like this is the best setup ever but like it just worked out perfectly. Alyssa's lease was going to like either she would have to renew it or she would have to like not break it but you know what I mean like not renew it and um throughout the pandemic she's been living alone and that was really really hard on her and i'm sure if any of you guys have been living alone during covid it especially at the beginning it was so isolating for everyone but especially people that lived on their own and thankfully she has her dog mocha but like it's not the same and um both of us now work full-time remote and my company says that we might go into the office one day a week but i really i really don't see that happening like i just really really don't but um she can be fully remote now and we both have been for this whole time so um like it was really me that has been the problem <laughs> that's like why would I move out like I I don't know I just haven't really wanted to move out to be honest and I don't know it just feels like the right time I'm excited about it I have the money <laughs> like everything kind of lined up um so far and we have just been non-stop researching um we want like a townhouse because since we both work from home we need like living space and workspace because I have been working out of my bedroom for the past almost two years and while that is fine um if I'm working from home either four days a week or five days a week um I don't want to work out of my bedroom for the rest of my life you know because I just feel like the industry I'm in, which is digital marketing, there is very, like, it's very low chances that I, even if I got a different job, that it would be in person, like, full time. So we need, like, extra space, and we would love to have extra space just in general. Um, and, of course, for Mocha to have, like, some area to, like, run around and stuff. So um, we're actually getting a tour of a townhouse today. I've 
like went past a few places this week and I'm going to go to another one um, right now like just like scope out the area I think that's been really helpful before like committing to a tour like going to the location um, since we are looking in this like general area that I currently live in and she lives somewhere else right now because of her job but she doesn't have to live there anymore um, because she can work from wherever she wants and her family lives around here too so um, it just kind of works out perfectly I love this area um, and I'm a homebody so I want to be close to my parents and my sister and I just think it's going to be really cool but it is extremely stressful looking for a place to live like especially right now it as anyone knows that has looked for houses or apartments or whatever it is so competitive and so expensive right now and that was another reason I wasn't in a rush to move out um but we like we're kind of in a groove now and we have like of course our max budget and we're trying to stay below that as much as possible while still getting like what we want so um we have a few promising places that we're like more seriously looking at but it's like even if we apply and like really want the place it isn't guaranteed that we'll be a and then the other like opposite side of that is a lot of these places are like available immediately so if we are accepted like <laughs> we have to move like it's like crazy um how quickly things might happen so that's why I wanted to tell you guys um like because I really really hope that we will get somewhere like we need to have somewhere to live by March that is like Alyssa's deadline because that's when her lease is up um but like some of these who knows like it could be way earlier than that um so it's just like really like uncertain right now like it's uncertain would we even get accepted and then it's also uncertain like it could happen like tomorrow like not literally tomorrow but <laughs> you know what I mean so um I'm really starting to think about like furniture um what I want to take with me from like my parents house and I want to do oh my gosh my room is such a disaster you guys because I've just been here there and everywhere I have been really running myself ragged like I don't feel very well today um and um dating yay things are still going really really well um oh, for New Year's I got to meet um all of his friends which was so like I was so scared but it was so awesome um so that was really really special but I've been driving to his place a bunch because I've had off he lives like about an hour away and so last night I went there um after me and Alyssa spent like five hours like house hunting and um he wakes up super early for work so I was up at like 6 a.m. Um, which is very early for me and um, then when I got home I went back to sleep because I was just like I cannot deal with this right now <laughs> I can't deal with this exhaustion so yeah I have just been like on the move like for the past two weeks essentially or really the past week because like Christmas week I was very low-key like I barely did anything and then the like once Christmas was over all hell broke loose and it was like all fun stuff like I love every single thing I did but now I can really feel it that I'm just like tired and my room looks like an explosion so what that has to do with what I was saying is that I really want to do like a deep clean of my room and do a brutal 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 like declutter um especially my clothes like I really need to think about what do I want to move because like I don't know there's a lot of stuff that I just don't wear and don't use and uh it's just like hard to let go but 
I know I'll be better off for it and like I really want my new space to be like what I want it to be because my current bedroom I've lived in <laughs> my bedroom since I was in fifth grade um and all my furniture pretty much like there's a few pieces that I bought like myself but most of them were like hand-me-downs which is great but I would love my like new room to be just like me and like what I really really want my style to be or at least like try to find what I want my style to be so and I want it to be like minimal I have so much like clutter like I'm a piler I like pile things all over the place and I really want to have like fewer things so it's less likely to create piles so that is something I'm hoping um like moving into a new space will allow me kind of to start fresh and Alyssa's very clean and very organized so I feel like she will be a great influence on me um and because she has a dog you obviously have to clean like keep your space really clean and stuff like that so I think that will be good like I don't know it's just like good motivation for me because right now to be honest, I don't really have like a lot of motivation to keep everything nice and organized because I'm the only one that has to see it. So yeah, I want that to change. But let's see what else. Yeah, really the moving thing that has been the biggest kind of update and then dating. I'm just so happy you guys. I really can't believe it. Um, and I kind of want to do like a longer form video on this, but I've learned a lot in the past few months about what is really important in a partner um, because I had always dated very like people that just like seemed like they had it all together, very like charismatic and like, I don't know, very like surface level. Um, and not like looks really, but just like surface personality. Um, and the guy that I'm with now is like more like closed off on the surface, but it's so worth it. Like it's so much better to like, if you like really vibe with someone, even if they're a little more like closed off which I wouldn't say like he is super closed off but like he doesn't just like I don't know he's just very different from the people I normally am attracted to um and it's like I don't know how see this is why I don't know how to do a video about it because I don't know how to explain it I just know how it feels to be with someone that's like truly to their core a good person and that I feel like is hard <laughs> to find in people that are very, I don't know, like forward. I, I don't know. I don't want to like make generalizations, but the people I've been with that are very like forward and like all that stuff, like they didn't have the like heart that I want and um I don't know it's just different this time I feel like and um it just feels special the more like the closer that we get and the more time we spend together it's just like it's more meaningful almost like I don't know I don't know how to say it but it just feels really like right and his friends were amazing and he met my parents and they really liked him and so it's just like feels like a really I'm in a really good like zone right now but I don't want to go back to work I'm like super super upset about it <laughs> like I can't think about it because it just makes me really really like depressed and like if you guys have ever been on vacation and like it's the last day and you're going home and you like are just so sad like <laughs> that is how I feel today I'm just so sad and that's why I just had to get out of the house because I was like I don't want to be like in my office today which is my bedroom 
<laughs> and my room is a disaster, so I'm trying to like run away from my responsibilities for just one last day. I just need one more day or one more week or month or year. <laughs> like I just wish I had a billion dollars, so I didn't have to work. But um, yeah, that is kind of everything I had to update you guys on. And like I said, it's not a typical vlog, but um, hopefully you <laughs> learn something about things that are happening in my life. And um, it's just really cool to share these like big moments with you guys like it's just so special since so many of you have been here for a long time and that oh my gosh it means so much to me that you have through the ups and the downs and so it's really cool to like share this news with you that I'm moving out and um it could be soon it could be a little later but I can't wait to do like moving vlogs and stuff like that um yeah, woo, it is going to be a journey, let me tell you, because I've never, like other than college, I've never like moved my whole like bedroom to a new place. And thankfully Alyssa has like the majority of furniture for other spaces in the house, like family room, dining room. If we have like a finished basement um, or like a loft or something, I have a couch that I can bring, but it's just going to be like a whole process for me and I'm excited but it is like <laughs> kind of scary but um all good things all good changes but even good change is stressful and hard so I'm going to try to give myself grace and I'm glad that I have someone going through it with me um and Alyssa has moved a lot so she's like an expert and um yeah I feel like it's nice to have someone going through it with you so yeah that is that but I hope you guys are all doing really well and I hope your 2022 is off to a good start um I just hope this year isn't like the past two years but at this point I'm just like I don't have high expectations <laughs> because I just don't want to be let down you know the past two years have been so hard and I just I'm just gonna see what happens but anyway thank you all so much for being here the sun is starting to go in my eyes so I think it's time to wrap up but I love you all so much and I'll see you soon bye